So in this video, we're going to take the uh, the 9 volt connector that we have that we're using to take power from our battery and feed it to the bot and we're going to upgrade the wires from around 32 gauge stranded to uh, 18 gauge solid copper wire and so they can handle more current and we know our motors can pull uh, at least an amp each so we want to make sure we have enough current uh, capacity handling capacity with our wires and we'll talk about that in another video so the first thing we need to do is trim off the outer plastic uh, shell around the connector that's a, I think it's a vinyl shell, maybe a PVC. And we're just going to remove that and expose the, the connector and the wires. You can see on the back we have two rivets, and those rivets are crimped onto the wire. And we're just going to pull the wires right out of those crimps. And uh, so we'll just have the rivets and the connectors exposed. So it's important when you connect these that you make sure to uh, wire them to the correct side. So the, uh, the, the positive one is going to be the one that's sort of mushroomed out on the top and the negative one is going to be the smaller of the two uh, connectors there. So when you, when you flip it over. So we're just soldering a little bit more solder to the uh, back of that connector to hold the, the positive lead in place. And uh, it's important that you get a good flow of, of solder all the way around and then we're doing the uh, the negative as well and now that we have the two wires connected we're going to protect the back of them by using a piece of uh, shrink wrap so we'll slide the shrink wrap over the wires and then we're going to punch uh, two holes in the shrink wrap for our uh, connections so we'll mo mush the shrink wrap around those connection points the socket points and once we've got that pushed all out around there like that. We'll do the other side and then we're, we're just going to trim off the excess with a break off blade knife and then we'll take the uh, get the get, a, get the rest of that excess there and then we'll take our heat gun and we'll sh shrink wrap we'll shrink the shrink wrap so that we have a nice uh, tight connection there that's uh, not going to come apart and we'll just mush the end together while the uh, shrink wrap is still soft. Okay, so now we're going to connect our new connector to our batteries. We're just going to put it in and use our large screwdriver to snap it in place. Once the wires are snapped in place, it's really important that you keep them separated. Otherwise, the uh, two, two leads on the, the two the ends of the wires could touch each other, and when they touch, they'll short out, and it'll cause the wires to heat up. It could, could cause a problem for you. It'll definitely drain your batteries, so you don't want that to happen. So we're going to feed our black negative wire up, uh, through the the hole that we created for our battery wires and the positive wire will also go up through that hole and then it's going to come back down through the hole by the motor and we're going to use uh, once it comes back down through the hole by the motor we're going to connect it to our switch which will allow us to turn the bot on and off and we'll show you how to wire the switch in the uh, next video